When it comes to treating mental health conditions such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, antipsychotic medications can be a crucial part of the treatment plan. However, with so many options available on the market, it can be overwhelming to decide which one is right for you. In recent years, loracidone has gained popularity as a newer antipsychotic medication that may offer some advantages over other options. But how does it compare to more traditional antipsychotics? In this video, we'll take a closer look at loracidone and compare it to other antipsychotics, exploring the potential benefits and drawbacks of each. Whether you're a patient seeking a new medication option or a healthcare provider looking to make an informed decision, this video will provide valuable insights into the world of antipsychotics. So, let's dive in and explore the pros and cons of loracidone versus other antipsychotics. What is loracidone? Loracidone is a second-generation antipsychotic medication that was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration (FDA) in 2010 for the treatment of schizophrenia. It works by blocking the activity of dopamine and serotonin receptors in the brain, which can help to reduce the symptoms of psychosis, including delusions, hallucinations, and disorganized thinking. Loracidone is also approved for the treatment of bipolar depression, and it has been shown to improve mood and reduce symptoms of depression in patients with this condition. Compared to some other antipsychotics, loracidone has a lower risk of causing weight gain, high cholesterol, and other metabolic side effects. This can be particularly beneficial for patients who are at risk of developing these conditions, such as those with diabetes or a family history of heart disease. However, loracidone may have a higher risk of causing akathisia, a type of restlessness or agitation that can be uncomfortable for some patients. How does loracidone compare to other antipsychotics? When it comes to comparing loracidone to other antipsychotic medications, there are several factors to consider, including effectiveness, side effects, dosage, and cost. Overall, loracidone appears to be at least as effective as other antipsychotics in the treatment of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, and it may offer some advantages in terms of its side effect profile. One study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology compared loracidone to the older antipsychotic medication risperidone in the treatment of schizophrenia. The study found that loracidone was equally effective in reducing symptoms of psychosis and had a lower risk of causing weight gain or metabolic side effects. However, patients taking loracidone were more likely to experience akathisia, a type of restlessness or agitation that can be uncomfortable for some patients. Effectiveness of loracidone in treating schizophrenia Several clinical trials have evaluated the effectiveness of loracidone in the treatment of schizophrenia. One study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology compared loracidone to placebo in the treatment of patients with schizophrenia. The study found that loracidone was significantly more effective than placebo in reducing symptoms of psychosis, including delusions, hallucinations, and disorganized thinking. Another study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry compared loracidone to the older antipsychotic medication quetiapine in the treatment of schizophrenia. The study found that loracidone was equally effective in reducing symptoms of psychosis and had a lower risk of causing weight gain or metabolic side effects. Side Effects and Safety Profile of Loracidone Like all medications, loracidone can cause side effects, although not all patients will experience these. The most common side effects of loracidone include nausea, vomiting, and constipation. Other common side effects include dizziness, sedation, and akathisia. Loracidone may also increase the risk of developing diabetes or high cholesterol, although this risk appears to be lower than with some other antipsychotic medications. In rare cases, loracidone can cause serious side effects, such as neuroleptic malignant syndrome (NMS) or tardive dyskinesia. NMS is a rare but potentially life-threatening condition that can cause fever, muscle rigidity, and other symptoms. Tardive dyskinesia is a movement disorder that can cause involuntary movements of the face, tongue, and other parts of the body. Alternative Medications to Consider Aripiprazole Aripiprazole is an alternative medication to loracidone that belongs to the same class of medications called atypical antipsychotics. It also works by modulating dopamine and serotonin receptors and can be used in the treatment of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Aripiprazole is available in various forms, including oral tablets, orally disintegrating tablets, and long-acting injections. Quetiapine Quetiapine is another atypical antipsychotic medication that can be considered as an alternative to loracidone. It is used in the treatment of schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and major depressive disorder. Quetiapine works by blocking dopamine and serotonin receptors in the brain. It is available in immediate release and extended release formulations. Olanzapine 
Olanzapine is an atypical antipsychotic medication that is effective in treating schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. It acts on multiple receptors in the brain, including dopamine and serotonin receptors. Olanzapine is available in oral tablets, orally disintegrating tablets, and long-acting injections. Risperidone. Risperidone is an antipsychotic medication that can be used as an alternative to loracidone. It works by blocking dopamine and serotonin receptors in the brain. Risperidone is commonly prescribed for the treatment of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. It is available in oral tablets, orally disintegrating tablets, and long-acting injections. Comparing loracidone to other antipsychotics in terms of side effects. Compared to some other antipsychotics, loracidone has a lower risk of causing weight gain, high cholesterol, and other metabolic side effects. However, loracidone may have a higher risk of causing akathisia, a type of restlessness or agitation that can be uncomfortable for some patients. In general, the risk of side effects with loracidone appears to be lower than with older antipsychotic medications, such as haloperidol or chlorpromazine. Considerations for choosing between loracidone and other antipsychotics. When choosing between loracidone and other antipsychotic medications, several factors should be considered, including the patient's medical history, the severity of their symptoms, and the potential risks and benefits of each medication. Patients with a history of diabetes or heart disease may be more likely to benefit from loracidone, as it has a lower risk of causing metabolic side effects. However, patients who are particularly sensitive to akathisia may prefer to try a different medication. Healthcare providers should also consider the patient's individual preferences and lifestyle when making medication decisions. Loracidone is taken once daily with food, which may be more convenient for some patients than other antipsychotic medications that require more frequent dosing. Loracidone Dosage and Administration The recommended starting dose of loracidone for the treatment of schizophrenia is 40 mg once daily, with a maximum dose of 160 mg per day. For the treatment of bipolar depression, the recommended starting dose is 20 mg once daily, with a maximum dose of 120 mg per day. Loracidone should be taken with food to improve absorption, and it should not be taken with grapefruit juice. Cost and availability of loracidone compared to other antipsychotics. The cost of loracidone can vary depending on the patient's insurance coverage and the pharmacy where it is purchased. In general, loracidone is more expensive than some older antipsychotic medications, such as haloperidol or chlorpromazine. However, it may be less expensive than some newer antipsychotic medications, such as aripiprazole or paliperidone. Conclusion. Making an informed decision about antipsychotic medications. When it comes to choosing an antipsychotic medication, patients and healthcare providers should carefully consider the potential risks and benefits of each option. Loracidone is a newer antipsychotic medication that may offer some advantages over older options, including a lower risk of causing weight gain or metabolic side effects. However, loracidone may have a higher risk of causing akathisia, a type of restlessness or agitation that can be uncomfortable for some patients. In general, loracidone appears to be at least as effective as other antipsychotic medications in the treatment of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Healthcare providers should consider the patient's individual medical history, symptoms, and preferences when making medication decisions, and patients should work closely with their healthcare team to monitor for any potential side effects or complications. With careful consideration and monitoring, Antipsychotic medications can be an important tool in the treatment of mental health conditions and can help patients to achieve better quality of life. Thanks for watching.